you were lucky enough to meet your mentor. How does it feel to be a mentor to younger artists? I think I've become a big brother to so many different people in this industry. I'll never forget working with Justin Bieber and sitting down and talking to him and just him soaking up so much information from me. And in those moments you feel like, you know, this is what it's all about. It's not about just a song. It's about helping people. There's so many producers and songwriters that call me just for advice. I would do the same thing if I was around someone like a Quincy Jones every day right now. You know, it, you know, uh, information is, is, is powerful. You know, the knowledge is a key. So I always say when you're around greats, you get as much information as you can get out of them because it's only going to help you. It can't hinder you. How do you approach working with new producers? I love working with new producers. You know, I think it, it's it's fresh. It's cool. Um, I, I wish a lot, a lot of new producers would, would learn and study more versus just thinking they're automatically it. They got it because they're talented. That doesn't make you it. That doesn't mean your career is going to be forever or last a long time. I believe that comes from when you really study what music is all about and learn the craft to the fullest. Do you ever see a younger version of yourself in a producer that you've worked with? Yeah, there, there's a producer that I signed I signed him to a publishing deal a few years ago. His name is Harmony. Um, he's from London. Harmony H Money is what they call him. And I never, when I first met him and heard his music and, and talking to him, I saw it was like probably what how Teddy Riley felt about me is how I felt about him. I mean, it was just like wow. I just know that this kid is he's got it. He's going to be something special. And he listened and he was observing and. You can just tell, and, and now he is like blowing up all over the place. And he deserves it because, you know, he has the same moral values, you know, that I have, and we talk a lot, and he's, he's, a, he's a good person. People like that, you want to see those people succeed. What advice would you give to future artists and producers? The one thing I tell producers always, always is study your craft, learn it, stay humble, Build relationships and uh, always be on time. Deliver your music on time. And always reinvent yourself. Don't stay, don't be stuck in the bubble. Don't think that your style is the best style for the next 20 years because styles change. Just like culture change. You gotta know when, when it changes, you change with it. Move on. Who are you mentoring and working with currently? Yeah, I'm working with um, this young kid, Dylan Allen who I'm really ecstatic about. He signed to RCA Records through my imprint. Um, and I just think there's something special about this kid. He's young, um, so he has a long time for, long, for longevity. He has a long time to mature, and that's what I like. If he's doing what he's doing now at 13, what will it be like when he's 21? I want him to be the artist that blows up, but that is mature and inspires other people and doesn't fall off the wagon. If you could work with anybody next, who would it be? Honestly, I've been, I've been blessed to work with every artist that I could dream of, and I'm still dreaming. Because, you know, if you had to say who would you want to work with tomorrow, it would probably be Adele. I haven't worked with her yet. Um, so I just keep dreaming, and, and my dreams keep coming true. With the music always changing, is there any music that surprises you? Some of the mu new music is it, not shocking to me. Nothing has been really, uh, and that's probably probably why I'm in the mindset of wanting to even change. Uh, I have a goal in, for myself to change my style. I have a goal in mind to change music uh, because I feel like the stuff is starting to sound a little bit repetitive. And when I listen to certain songs on the radio, they sound too much like the other song. And so for me, like the only way you break that through is you go completely left and you go try something that's completely different. And so I'm trying to find that. It takes time. It may not happen this year. It may happen next year. It may happen five years down the road, but I'm on the hunt to find and create that new sound. Um, and I believe I'll accomplish it.